Hey there, and friends, it's Oliver, and in this honest review, it's all about the St. George fencing jacket. First of all, I want to thank Marcus for hijacking his living room because I need a little bit more silence. This fencing jacket is invented by Paul Becker from Inmoto and uh, produced in cooperation with Ullmann Fencing. A small disclaimer first. As usual, I got no money or other things for this, but um, Paul asked me to do a small review and because, spoiler alert, I think this is a really good product, I do him this favor. I bought my jacket in October 21, three months after one of my fencer got uh, his and um, was satisfied. And by now, there are even a few more around. Bad things first, we have three major problems with the jacket. On my jacket, um, this strap went off from time to time um, just because the seam is not narrow enough. Um, I could have sent it back, but after all, I will fix it by myself after the video. So, Second, it's the zipper. Not the zipper by itself, but this tiny part. Um, it went off from market jacket and uh, he has to send it back, which was, by the way, very unproblematic. Unfortunately, it happened again and um, he fixed it by himself also. No other jacket has this problem, so it seems it was a um, bad batch um, the next jackets don't have. And the third problem is the inner fabric. So, this. This gets um, a little brittle. And also, um, a week or two ago, a seam in the inside of the arm ripped off, which must happen with um, one of my fingers while getting it on. I would say this is something that should not happen. Um, but again, no other jacket uh, till now has this problem and um, Paul told me he was aware of this problem because of uh, other feedback and he fixed it by um, different, uh, different fabric and stronger seams. After all, I think this is just teething. Um, I don't think we will see these problems in the future. And because Paul is someone who wants to see for his good work, I'm optimistic. Now to the generals. It looks very unobtrusive. Like in standard fencing jacket, if one risks just a curison glass. I like the style, but I know some really wants to have jackets in the style of the Renaissance, for example, but this neutral look would fit all and it fits even better to my folks' fencing saber and sword from the 19th century. I remember, as I said to Paul, he could make the strap removable for those who don't want them because it looks too Olympic. So maybe I'm responsible myself for my strap problem. But in fact, I do not want to miss it. It do not disturb me in any way. And it prevents the jacket to slip up when raising the arms. And as I said, it is not uncomfortable, especially between the legs. But as I said, if you don't like it, remove it. What I really like about it is the over material. It is not the gamison like stepped fabric we are used to see. It is the same material Olympic fencing jackets were made of. Okay, it becomes some scratches, but um, this is more from storing in the fencing bag. Um, with lots of gear with uh, velcro on it and lots of guards from other training weapons. The jacket is 800 Newton rated and would also be legal 
in Olympic fencing um, for foil and saber. And it is just not legal for Epe because the bib, you remember, is shorter than it should be because of the aesthetic standards from the HEMA community. The padding is new to the world of HEMA. It is not form and it's not layers of cotton. It is a fleece of a synthetic material which is um, as you would put uh, stalactites and stalactites together. I like it very much. It feels like nothing and um, it protects you really good. Um, but okay, it could be better, but then you would be also more fluffed up and the compromise between the mobility and the protection is for me just as I want it. If you ask me, this is the next level. Um, and it's really nice to see what could be possible when um, manufacturers like Ullmann Fencing and Hemaists with visions and ideas come together. The padding is all over here and what I really like, it's even more at the shoulders and the collarbone, which is always a spot I'm cautious with. On the other hand, there is no protection on the forearm, because most fences where forearm protection Paul decides to not make the forearm bulkier than it has to, which is a good idea. There are Moto arm protectors in charge, which I pre-ordered and if you like, I could make a review um, of it too. Just write me in the comments to let me know. Also, there is enough space for your gloves. Be honest, everyone has problems to get gloves over the six sleeves of other jackets. If I compare the padding to the one of um, Gajadoni's heavy jacket, then the Gajadoni is way better. But also it is or it has deficits in mobility. That much deficits that one of my fencers decided to buy another light jacket for other weapons, obviously for a small sword. The St. George jacket has also more protection than you need for a small sword, but if you already had one for a saber or a rapier or even long sword, it will not disturb you for a small sword. As I said, the mobility is pure gold, no comparison to other jackets. You can do everything you want wearing it. We demonstrated here with some iron wand exercises and you will get a bit of bouting with different weapons at the end of the video. If the padding is not enough for the weapon I want to use, like you switch from saber to rapier or even to longsword, um, I go with the onion style. First, there is something many fences wear regularly under their fencing jackets. It's a plastic chest protector from Olympic Fencing. This one is also from Woman. Um, it's very bendable and it is very comfortable to wear. Um, lots of other chest protectors are more stiff. Another thing you can wear under is something like that. This is for rugby and it costs me around about 15 euro, but you can easily spend more money on that. Yeah, this is not so important as the extra padding on the shoulders and flanks. I totally forgot about the leather vest, which should be an addition for more protection against heavier weapons. I always wanted to buy one, but I didn't see the need till now. Back to the jacket. It comes in black or white. You can choose your zipper on your right or your left and if you want to be fancy, you could have your club logo printed on your back. I did not have that much experience in actual longsword fencing, but I know that's what you want to know. And because of that, um, Tobias Tomei will tell us about uh, his impressions 
of the jacket. To be as friends with us, uh, did Baston Genoeva with me, and um, he pushed his skills in boxing, wrestling, kung fu, and um, mugai ryo kenjutsu, which brings us to his longsword style. He trained at Wurkenschlag and used to have lots of sparring and competitions. You should better remember its name. So Tobias, what do you think about the St. George jacket in points of mobility and protection against longswords? Maybe in comparison with um, the Arkham jacket um, you used before. So, to answer the most important question first, is the St. George jacket suitable for longsword fencing? Yes, it is. I think it's a very good jacket for that, actually. Both jackets are, um, well, I would say quite light, so comparatively light, and also very nimble. So, especially in the St. George jacket, you have a really, really good free range of motion, because it's light, and the, um, it has a light stretch in the fabric. So honestly, after a while you're gonna be forget you're wearing a fencing jacket at all, which is a very, very, very good thing. So you're gonna be nimble and light while fencing. And uh, as a bonus, and this is where the St. George jacket really takes the cake, the padding is simply amazing. I've never seen this kind of shock absorption on a fencing jacket before. So especially comparing to the lightness and nimbleness, the shock, ab shock absorption is really, really good, which makes it also a good um, jacket for longsword fencing if you add the necessarily additional protection which just comes with the support. So basically, in my opinion, if you add your protecting for your lower arms and your elbows and of course for your neck, you're gonna be fine with this jacket for most of your re regular kind of training. Uh, technical sparring, fencing based on points, and based on accurate technique, this kind of stuff, you're gonna be really fine. I myself am a friend of minimalist protection, so I recommend for full contact longsword fencing, add something to protect your chest, especially your ribcage, and also I would recommend add something to protect your shoulders, because although the padding is Really, I can't stress this enough, really, really amazing, if you can hear me, me right. Um, there's like these stitches on the shoulders where the padding gets quite thin. So maybe you want to add something, it doesn't need to be much, just something like this on your shoulders and you're gonna be fine. Because all the other parts of your body are really quite well protected with this jacket. Yeah, basically that's my opinion. If there's something left, don't be shy and ask, just write in the comments. And if you watched the video till here, please give me a like, subscribe, just to support our Nishi channel. Thank you in advance. At the end, a quick view in the future, or the present, or the past. Just depends on when you look this video. The jacket is at the moment in sale, and probably this is because there is a new version coming. I saw it um, a few months ago on an event. The new version will have a strap on the back for uh, tighten the jacket um, on the hips and will have uh, straps on the arm and shoulders to um, fix plastic protectors um, on your jacket as you know it from uh, other jackets around. I don't need those straps and I like my club patches on my arm. So if I had none, I would take the chance to get an old version now. I don't know the process, but um, it would be really nice if you could buy in the future both versions or uh, what do you think? We should let Paul know that so I will end with this small wish and um, I hope this was helpful. I put you the link in the description below. Unfortunately, no affiliated link. And uh, see you in the next video. And now, the sparring you were waiting for. <laughs> Ja,
Thank <laughs> you. 